The CRM Writer integration lets you merge data from your CRM into template documents, and then save them in a folder, email them out, or send them out to be signed if you have Zoho Sign. This is useful for creating things like personalized contracts, letter envelopes, or certificates. Let's see how it works. Step 1. Setting up a template. Go to your CRM setup screen, then go to Templates, and click on Mail Merge. You can start with a blank writer document, or you can upload a file that you already have by clicking this button on the right. Choose which module you want to be able to merge data from. I'm going to choose the Deals module, and we can set up a contract for web design clients. Next, I'll choose the file from my desktop, and then I'll import it to get started. Step 2. Adding Merge and Sign Fields. Go to edit your template to get it set up. Merge fields let you take data from the CRM and insert it into placeholder spaces in your document. So if I wanted to add in the date that this deal was closing, I could just select this line and then come over here to the left and click on closing date. Same thing goes for any field in the CRM. Also, any records related to the deals can be pulled in as well. So if I wanted information from a client's account or contact record, that could also be pulled in. There's a search bar at the top since there's a lot of fields that you can go through. Go through your document and set up all of the places where you want to have data merged in from CRM. After you have your merge field set up, then you can think about adding in signing fields. Sign fields indicate where a client needs to sign on a document. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and here we can add in our sign field. I'll go over to the left and click Fields, and then I'll click Signer Fields. I can add in multiple signers if I want, but for now let's just keep it simple. I'll add in a signature field, ask the client to enter in their full name, and then also collect the date that they sign. Step 3. Outputting documents. Go back to the Automate section and edit your merge template. Down at the bottom, there are different settings for how you can output your file. You can save files to a folder, you can send them out for email, or you can send them to be signed. If you send a file out for email, then you can choose which email you want to send it to by choosing fields that are related to this record. You can also just manually type in email addresses here. If you want to customize the subject line, you can also insert any of the fields related to the deal. You can email your document in line, where it'll just go in the body of the email, or as an attached file. You can also add in additional attachments. You can have a common attachment for everybody who gets this template, or you can have a unique file that goes to every single client. If you send it out for signing collection, you can choose who needs to sign it, and then you can also add in viewers and approvers of the document as well. You can set the order that people need to sign, and then again, just like before, you can click this plus button and merge in data from the CRM. So if we want our contact that's associated with this deal to be the one who signs it, we can just choose that option and it will automatically fill that in for us. Finish setting up your output settings, and then we'll take a look at how your sales reps can use this template document. Step 4. Using Merge Templates Once you've set up a template, all a sales rep has to do is open up a record and then click on the three-dot icon. From here, they can click Mail Merge and then choose which template they want to use. To make sure everything gets filled in correctly, reps can hit the Preview Merge button. Once they're done confirming that everything worked correctly, they can go back to the editor and choose how they want to output their document. All of the options that you configured when you set up your template will be saved here. So if you've set it up to merge and send out for sign collection, you can just choose that option and hit Run Merge. Then all you have to do is hit Send, and you're ready to go. If you want to check the status of whether a document has been sent or signed, a link will be generated that you can check back on periodically.